Smart podcasting is understanding that your show is way more than just a podcast. It's repurposing and utilizing multiple platforms in a smart way to get huge amounts of return on minimal amounts of effort. And when we're just starting a business or trying to expand one that we've already started, it's critical that we evaluate opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. So the classic example of how opportunity cost shows up in our small businesses is when we spend time on tasks or areas of our business that aren't the best use of our time and talents. Many times we think we're saving time on the expense of hiring help or outsourcing certain work, when in reality, we're costing ourselves more by wasting valuable time and often doing the job poorly. Another big opportunity cost comes with choosing a social media platform to market our business on, or deciding whether or not to post videos on TikTok or to start a podcast. And how do we know if we're posting the right kind of content to each platform? Many times the content we post on social media or the podcast episodes that we publish to the directories aren't really doing anything at all for the growth of our business. Luckily though, there is a lot of information out there to help new biz owners. And you'll find that if you can become crystal clear on your goals that you have for social media or for a podcast, that those goals will perfectly lead you into the right direction and help you to lessen wasting any time. But you'll need to start to decipher the crazy world that is content creation, social media marketing, and audio marketing, or podcasting. Which platform should you be on? Which is the most worth your time? How can you know that you're spending your time on efforts that are going to pay off? Well, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the idea of smart podcasting. This is something of a specialty of ours on this channel. It's a whole lot more than podcasting, and it might just change your life. There's a whole lot to learn, so we better get started. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. I'm an audio and video producer by trade, a podcast and content creation nerd. And on our channel, we are obsessed with giving the undiscovered the microphone and helping the uncomfortable to step in front of the camera and into the light of online notoriety. If you're ready to take your digital game to the next level, subscribe here to our channel. We put out useful videos every week that you don't wanna miss out on. So. Like I mentioned in this video, I'm going to share our smart podcasting framework for you. And this is some crazy valuable information. So you may wanna take some screenshots and some notes or press the save button so you can come back to this video later. So we like to divide smart podcasting into four basic parts. The first part is strategy. The second part is market research. The third part is workflow. And the fourth part, which is the really valuable part, is repurposing. So let's break down each part and I'll explain to you how you can easily achieve this for yourself. But before we do, let's quickly go back to our goals. It's critical that we define what our social media goals are. And here it's easy to lump podcasting into the social media bucket when we're talking about our goals. There are five main ones that are on all of our lists and those are build brand awareness, increase traffic to your website, improve community engagement, boost conversions or sales, and generate leads. It just so happens that podcasting, and especially smart podcasting, is the easiest way to achieve these goals when compared to social media platforms, and even more so when done in harmony with social media content creation. Because that's what smart podcasting is. It's creating content from the same research and the same planning that can work as podcast episodes, social media posts, blog posts, TikTok videos, or any other platform that you determine your customers or clients are likely hanging out on. And it's pretty easy and cost effective to get started. So let's start with the first part of smart podcasting. Number one, strategy. Strategy is, again, starting from your goals, where you decide which type of podcast you're going to create, which format. Is it going to be an interview podcast or a storytelling podcast? It's deciding on a posting frequency and the tone of your show and the general topics that are closely related to your business. Number two, market research, is where we have to spend a ton of time getting to know as much as we can about our potential customers, where they hang out, how they consume media, what they're interested in, etc. It's also important to research podcasts and social media profiles that are killing it, that our type of audience really loves. 
This process allows us to really dial in the exact topics and content that we're going to cover on our podcast, how we can make content that our customers will find really interesting, valuable, and entertaining. Number three, workflow. Now this is where commissioning the smarts from podcasters and content creators who have been at it for a while can be really helpful. There's a big learning curve that comes with learning how to podcast, learning how to make compelling posts for social media, and learning how to shoot videos for YouTube or TikTok. But it's a learning curve that you can anticipate and that you can track. And there are many ways to speed the process up. Of course, there are endless videos here on YouTube that cover every little topic of content creation. And the faster, more effective routes would be taking online courses or hiring help. We actually have an amazing course that teaches in exact detail all of the skills you need to start smart podcasting. It's called Smart and Sexy Podcast Launch. We actually have a free online training where we walk through all of the basics and introduce you to the program. You can grab a seat for that online training by going to podcastingsmart.com. But once you make a plan of how you're gonna learn all of these new skills, then you can schedule for that. And here you'll also want to schedule as far into advance as you can with your content. This way you know how often you're putting out episodes, you know what those episodes are gonna be about and when the episodes will be edited and by who and which platforms you're gonna repurpose the episodic content to and how often. This way you know when to schedule and lump together each task. So when you schedule the writing of your episodes, you would also write any extra copy or pieces of writing you need for your podcast show notes or for blog articles or emails and for your social media copy or short video scripts too. In this way, when you get to recording day, instead of just recording a podcast episode on a certain topic, you also bust out little videos or Instagram stories or reels and standalone videos for YouTube or TikTok. A smart workflow can take one day of recording and turn it into a week or more of fresh content on multiple platforms. Now you're cooking with gas. Okay, so to finish up this video, let's talk about number four, repurposing. And I basically just summed this one up during the last point, but this is the real magic of smart podcasting. This is where we can 10X our digital output. And by doing so, we can 10X our small business. There isn't a business that doesn't benefit from having strong SEO and an addicting social media presence and a smart and sexy podcast. There is so much you can do with a podcast that can be repurposed into amazing content for all other marketing efforts, your blog, your website, every social media platform, YouTube, TikTok, it's crazy. And when your customers and clients can find your content on multiple platforms and all of that content they find is packed with your business values and promise, the relationships that you'll foster will attract the exact clients that you want to work with and it will turn ordinary customers into raving fans. So don't just podcast. Don't just post your advertisements on social media. Start smart podcasting. Start a podcast with purpose and strategy and then repurpose it into writing and video content for multiple platforms. And as always, we are here to help you soar online and we'd love to get to know more about you. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know where I can check out your new biz or whatever it is you've got going on. Also, you can come find us anywhere on social media at Pod Sound School. And until next time, good luck with your online endeavors and keep checking in with us each week for more tasty videos. Peace.